Joining us now, a very special guest, Dr. Minendra Rijal, is a member of the House of Representatives of Nepal. He's been a former member. He's also a member of the Central Working Committee of the Nepali Congress Political Party. Uh, Dr. Rijal, thank you very much for being with us. Would you call these perhaps the, the most stressful times in what has been an outstanding relationship between India and Nepal for several decades? Thank you very much for having me. I certainly think um, these are not uh, those times when uh, you would like to be in nobody, neither people in India nor in Nepal. We have, uh, as, as you have rightly pointed out, we've been one of the friendliest nations uh, in the world. Uh, there were issues in the past, and this issue has been outstanding for, as you know, so well, been for outstanding for 70, 20 years was recognized as pending issue uh, 23 years back. And uh, both sides have agree, uh, agreed to resolve this through diplomatic means. But uh, in the recent past, India is issuing a, a political map, created an environment that uh, led to the developments that uh, we are uh, witnessing today on both sides of the border. Dr. Rijal, the remarks made by uh, the Indian Army chief uh, where he said that uh, Nepal was acting on, uh, at the behest of someone else, perhaps indirectly suggesting China with regard to your opposition to India's road construction activity. Uh, is that the trigger for what we are seeing now? Is that the, the, the basic trigger? That's one of, one of the triggers, not the only one. I would say the political map that is published by India was one. And then you know it so well, the relationship between our, our two armies, Nepali army and Indian army are so close and have helped each other so, for such a long time. And we, are, we have fought war for you. Uh, ne, I mean, Nepali people have shown bravery, bravery to defend you, your territory. Uh, we, we have also been uh, part of your uh, quit, uh, quit India movement, independence uh, movement. Uh, and I guess I mean, that, that's one of the reasons why the goodwill among Indian, Indians towards Nepalese and goodwill among Nepalese towards India is tremendous. At the people level, people to people relationship, I mean, I cannot imagine any two countries which can be closer than uh, the peoples of India and Nepal. But at the official level, I mean, there have been irritants in the past, and this time it seems uh, more so than have been in the past. Dr. Rijal, um, was it really necessary for Nepal's defense minister to make very harsh comments, comments that the Indian army would not be able to stand up uh, to their uh, Gurkha soldiers, uh, to suggest that Gurkha soldiers in the Indian army uh, were being insulted? Uh, was it necessary to, to take this to that level, particularly at a time when soldiers, wherever they may be, whether they're in India or in Nepal, they're on social media, they're following the news carefully, and therefore statements like this actually adds to the discord. Was it necessary for him to have made those remarks? It goes without saying, the remarks made by the uh, Indian Army chief uh, uh, created a situation whereby uh, Defense Minister probably will come, was prompted to say what he said. I mean, it could have been said in much better fashion, uh, uh, but I guess, I mean, uh, using that as a pretext uh, to the situation that we are witnessing probably would not be good. I mean, there, are, there, are, there, are, there are better ways how Nepal and India relationship can be handled. There are better ways how uh, disputes with, between our two countries or our claims on our territories uh, between our two countries can be, can be handled and we should be wise enough to do that. Yep. Um, at the same time, I yes. guess, I mean, one, one thing I've, uh, I would like to use your, uh, the platform you have provided me uh, to convey to people of India, people who have been so loving uh, of Nepali people, and Nepali people also are, are very, feel very close and attached to the Indian people. Uh, but um, any time when, for absolutely no reason, someone brings in the China factor and says, I mean, one's using the other, then that sounds like a very patronizing statement to a lot of Nepali people, to me also. I mean, we, we, we're good friends. But I mean, we do not decide for each other. We respect you as an independent nation, and we expect the same thing from you. So I mean, uh, rhetoric aside, Nepal and India are very close friends. We'll have to remain such, and the outstanding 
good uh, dispute uh, has to be resolved diplomatically. And there are many, many ways. And uh, we would rise up to the challenge. And then there are wiser people in both countries uh, who can find ways to uh, mend fences and then come up with a solution which should be uh, agreeable to Nepali people, agreeable to Indian people. Uh, and then also we have to recognize that the world has changed. India's role in the global arena has expanded tremendously. At the same time, Nepal also is not Nepal of uh, 15, 20 years back. Nepal, uh, with, the, with the emergence of China, with the emergence of both China and India in the international arena, and with their uh, uh, interest there uh, in, the, in, the, in this subcontinent throughout the world, and with the development of their information and communication technology, uh, with the globalization, Nepal's role also has uh, been expanding. Nepal's but Dr. Rijal, when I... Dr. Rijal, if, but still if I is. can just... If I can just come in, sir, uh, yeah. would it be fair for me to say that this is as much an issue of Nepali pride as it is an issue about whether a road is built on this side of the river in the Lipu Lake Pass or uh, on the other side of the Lipu Lake Pass? Is it essentially about how Nepal and people and political leaders in Nepal are perceiving India uh, as a big brother who is forcing himself with views uh, on uh, uh, on a partner nation, is it as much about Nepali pride as it is about a map, an issue on a map? It's both. Pride is an important factor, and especially for a country like Nepal, which has been independent all through all throughout its history, and which has fought war of independence for other countries also. Uh, our, our people, our ancestors, have laid their lives uh, for defending India, for defending Britain. Uh, we feel so, we take such a great pride in it. And I hope uh, people here in India do understand that. Uh, that's one thing. The second is the border issue has been there for a long time. We raised this, first time it was raised when I.K. Gujarat was Prime Minister, that's back in 1997. And then we raised this uh, in 2000. Uh, uh, since 2000, it's been recognized by both countries as, as outstanding issues. And uh, the last communique between our two countries have been that, uh, that we will attend to this issue. We'll find a resolution that's agreeable to uh, both countries. Uh, but that's what we're waiting for. And all of a sudden, the situation came in whereby uh, we all feel very bad that uh, it should not have happened. And let me also point out the third thing. I mean, I, I really, any, anybody, any Nepali would feel so bad. Uh, when one hears what was said uh, about Manisha Khairala. Manisha Khairala is a great actress. I mean, she probably is one of the, one of the symbols uh, that symbolizes the uh, closeness of a relationship between us. But someone saying, uh, I mean, probably not a very important person. I mean, the, uh, someone saying in media that Manisha earns bread in India and uh, defends China, I mean, that, that's so no, I think that's that's ridiculous and insulting and unfortunate. It's uh, it's disgraceful. It is. It is. And, but that's the way our social media often functions. They just go and target and target and target. Uh, Mr. Rijal, it's been a. I just, my Dr. Rijal, I must ask you one final question. If you could keep your answer brief, since I'm running out of time. Given the so, present state of tensions right now, is it possible that in the three areas which uh, there are differences, whether it's Tipu Lake? Kalapani, uh, Olipuduria, that there could be border posts set up by the Nepali army in areas where there are differences of perception. I mean, to be in a scenario where India and Nepal have soldiers, you know, I'm not facing off, but in close proximity to each other and anything but the, the closest of friendship is unimaginable. So could that I actually guess happen? They set the rhetoric aside. I guess people on both sides uh, of the border are wise enough not to uh, do anything that's going to aggravate the situation that's already bad. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Rijal, it's a pleasure speaking to you, and thank you so much for conveying your thank views you and explaining what, 